following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi, folks. A uh, little bit of an accident here. Spilled my tea on my desk. Not sure yet. Uh, let me just go to these. All right, let's get go. The Dow is down at 19 at 39,149. The S&P right now, I'll go through these in a little more detail in a little while. Down just to it, uh, 54.73. I'm just looking to see where, where the tea is going. You know, it'll find its own level. Um, anyway, I managed to, uh, I think I salvaged my laptop, which uh, it went right onto the keyboard. Um, all right, so the QQQ right now is trading up 64 cents at 482.51. The SMH is going to be very important. The SMH has tried to bounce earlier. They're now down just 24 cents at 260.77. They are struggling. The nine period moving average, though, is still positive. I wanted to show you this in earlier on this morning. I had mentioned that there was a chap with inside track uh, support line right here in the E mini. <clears throat> and the 5504.50 level from uh, 11 o'clock yesterday morning, Eastern time, I think it was, yes, that was the key support. And then I had a chap wave inside track propellant line that gave support <clears throat> at the 5504 level. It went to 10 under it, and now we're aspiring to the upside. We're in legs C in the 10-minute chart, and I'd say there's a chance that this could turn into a two-click session from the about 5508 level. Um, and let's see what happens, because now the futures are up 25 cents. They're unchanged at 5533. That is a nice rebound. And the, all the work I'd said, I said to subscribe, be a little careful here. Uh, we've got mixed things. For instance, we are still short the S&P, <clears throat> but we are long one of the indexes. And the Dow um, has, <laughs> no, it's not so much that I've never done it in 20-something in, uh, years. Um, and I have my tea and my water and everything around here. I've never done this. This was a mistake because, you know, when you do something out of context, and I never put my cup on this particular desk, hardly ever. I didn't remember that I put it there because I was doing something else on another desk that I have this desktop on. And that was a mistake. So we'll see. I just hope that uh, computer survives. I immediately turned it upside down. Then I had to do the update. And now I've got it in a bathtub upside down, but I don't think that's going to be good enough. I managed to shut it off, and that's important. I'm just going to let it dry for a day or two or three, and then I'll use it again. Or I'll take it to my man. My man always saves the day. Dan. All right. So here we go. We're looking at, um, yeah, actually, I'll mention his name because he's, he's been for 20-something. He's just been amazing uh, for me. Uh, Dan Tran over at CTX Computers. CTS computers here in uh, Newton, um, fantastic. He just really is fantastic. Just always saves the day for me. All right. So um, let me go back to everything that I was looking at. So I had said a little while ago that there's a chance that we're taking a breather. But I'm also of the opinion 
that maybe that first opening salvo was just a kind of a, a how can I put it? It was it was a release of the uh, negative activity that's been going on for the last couple of days in the sense that the market didn't know what to do. It did run up and then it gave it all back every single day. Look at this. Look at this. The Dow went to a leg C at 39,571. And that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sessions ago. And since then, every day it's had a big move up and close at the, almost the low of the day. Look at these long wick candles. Look, even today, so far, we've got a long wick candle. And it's just saying, and I believe this uh, is the case, that we have a consolidation going on that is rotational in character. And that rotation is saying um, the stocks that were the strongest are now, even those, even the ones that are making new highs, are not making them at the same degree, angle of, of, of acceleration to the upside as they had been. And at the same time, the stocks that and the areas that were very weak are attempting now for the first time to find some support. And you can see just right here, the little glimpse that you can get of this black background chart it just says that the uh, Richard Arms Trin Index is really in no way, it's not, it's not overbought, it's not oversold, so that's not giving a clue at all. What is giving a clue is this, and let me go to it and I'll tell you what I'm looking at. Is that in the techniques that I have, at that peak D right there, 279.57 in the semiconductors, and we've been negative the same semiconductors for a while, at the, on the 20th of June, there was that spiral to the upside with a very quick one of the sharpest and deepest pullbacks it's had. Certainly percentage terms is one, uh, it's one thing, but on in point terms, that's the biggest pullback that it's had since that consolidation back in March, uh, April, um, let me give you the exact day. That was the week of the 8th of March at uh, 239.14, going all the way down under 200. And then it came all the way back. So this is the deep, and this is the consolidation I've been talking about, and now I can start to draw in the pattern that is absolutely imperative to monitor, and that is the dreaded H. And what does that mean? It means that there's a chance that at this peak B <clears throat> in the daily chart of the SMH Van Eck Semiconductor ETF that we are going to see the semis slide underneath the low that was made on the 24th of June of 263 uh, 255.73. And it doesn't have to go terribly deep, but it is a consolidation that is unfolding. And you've got a peak F slash C in the, in the weekly chart. Here, the technicals are all strong, even though the, the stochastics pull back and the on balance of pull back, the, the technicals are very strong. So within that context, let's go back to what we were looking at here. Um, <clears throat> I want to go through this again. So let me show you. Apple, very nice action today. It's up with $1.84, trying to tackle the left side peak C1, C2, just at about 220. <clears throat> it should be able to do that. That'll start a leg C. It would go a penny above that peak. And then uh, Amazon is still in this uh, Chapman wave. No, this Amazon is at peak C, and it should go to a leg D still. <clears throat> on your leg B in the weekly chart. And I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 21, SB's down five. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, let me just check on one of my other computers here. Uh, okay, good. All right, we're back. So we're looking at a peak D. If I use this as a phantom peak right here in the five-minute chart, this is a D. Now, very often when the technicals are still strong, why I use a phantom peak is I want to get to a D as soon as possible. I don't want it to be a C. And, and in fact, it should have been a D. And then I'm waiting for the D to come and it never comes and the C goes all the way down. No, this is, I already said that this is, um, but this is the area of, look, resistance we've got. Let me just do this right here. So within the context of um, what we're looking at here in the big picture, this is the 10-minute chart. So this is the inside track uh, right here. The support is down red and green mini channel. You've got, um, I use a particular candle. If it's very difficult to see where you can give a left side, right side price time match bar symmetry, I have to use a particular candle. There's always a, a particular candle that seems to save the day. I use this particular candle right here at about 22, that's eight o'clock. <clears throat> and that was eight o'clock last night. <clears throat> no, 10 o'clock last night, I'm sorry. As a midpoint, and it took me to about eight, 30. But it was a little bit before that. It was just on 8 o'clock that you got that test of the 5504 level. And what happened is it started to move up. Now, this is the 10 minute chart. And the 10 minute chart says that we are at peak C. And the MACD is very strong. The stochastics at 83%. That's good. On balance volumes, a little bit overbought. That's why you can see this digestive phase. But the nine is so strong. In fact, the nine period moving average, the green one, is over the 200 period moving average. That's the first time it's done that since, oh, since way back. Since, yeah, way back. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to scroll all the way back, but for a long couple of days. Now, what's really important about this is it's telling you that the 5525 level 
is now pretty important support because you've got the nine crossing the the 200 period moving average in the 10 minute chart right here of the e-mini and the nine is way above the 14 which is at 55.22 so i'm suggesting that there is some kind of a digestive phase going on right now had a peak f at about 55 35 36 <clears throat> and that was at about 10 o'clock pull back and now you're digesting the gains and that's the reason why <clears throat> I'd rather be calling this a D with the phantom peak B so that I'm I'm prepared. I'm ready. I've already, although I said it's a potential two-click session, and because I was doing the show, I'm out. So I'm, I'm out, and now I'm watching. I might not be able to get back in at this particular point, but I'm watching, and I think there's a high-level digestive phase with the five minutes still very strong, and the 10 minutes uh, strong says, now let's watch other areas, because if you can start to see support, say, in the Russell 2000. If the SMH is the semiconductors, instead of pulling back from you, actually rally a little bit, that's going to be important. The next thing I'm looking at here is my icon stocks. And one of them is a stock that we own, which is Microsoft. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know, that was a pretty big peak D pullback on Friday. And look at Monday's candle. It went to a lower low for the first time in ages, in first time since early June. It hit the 14 period moving average, used it as a springboard and powered higher and went to a new all time high. And today it's gone to another all time high, 457.95. And to me, this is a benchmark. This is saying this has got the Dow, it's got the S&P, it's got the QQQ, it's got the uh, XLK, it's got the AIQ, that's the uh, artificial intelligence area. This is telling me when this starts to fail, Microsoft, I think we've got a problem. But in the meantime, you've got Chapman Wave stalk leg formation in the weekly chart, you are a little bit higher than I actually anticipated just based on the pattern. And that means you have a potential here in the monthly chart to have a fulcrum where you could have a one to one to the upside. I don't want to even get into that. I go one step at a time. All I'm saying is that the action is really good and it covers um, it covers a lot. And because it covers a lot, it says don't get too negative, even though we have the short position, even though um, the Dow has not yet made that peak D in the daily chart, it has gone to a peak D in the in the diamonds. And the diamonds are holding the 14 period moving average very nicely. They haven't broken down, but they haven't broken up. And the YM, which is the futures, have gone to a peak D. So I have every once every, uh, every once every maybe two or three years, I get a big question that I have to answer. Do I get a sell signal based on the diamonds or the Dow, which is more important? And I always say that the root, which is the, the Dow, is the most important, but I have to put the whole package together. The package says it's telling you that at least right now we've got a slowdown to the upside in many areas. And that's, that's really what I'm looking at here. Now, I need to just go through this again. Look, here's the Jeff Wave inside track. You remember the same inside track that gave that extraordinary ricochet to the upside um, in the 10 minute E mini? You've got this third time. Let me just show you something. First time, it makes a low at about 113 in the bonds. And that was back in April. And I'll give you the exact face. It changes because it's a continuous contract. But at that point, it was 113 and 9.30 seconds, it was on the 25th of April. Well, it rallies up to a peak D, then it pulls back, and it re and it, it, it tests this, well, there wasn't a trend line, but it tests <laughs> the Fibonacci number right here, and it goes where? It goes to 114 and 20.30 seconds on the 29th of May. Now, in almost the same time sequence, that is, the number of bars to test this chap. Now I've got a chap with inside track propellant zone. Well, it tested it yes, uh, two days. Yes, no, it was yesterday, the first, at 106, 115 and 30, 30 seconds. Wow. Are we looking at this as the pot next potential bounce, or is this going to fail and go into the 115s? We don't know. If I do the TLT, which is the Lehman 20 Treasury bond 
ETF. Oh, I never did this, huh? Well, I'll do it right now. Look. Get my, oh, let me get my quiet mouse. Here goes my quiet mouse. Look, here's your trend line. Right there from 87.50. That was the low around about the 23rd of April. And what does it do? It's the same inside track right there. Remember 316 or so? This is not a technical term that you find in any, any books, but it's about a three inch, three sixteenths of an inch inside track. Support line, I make it red at the bottom because if it takes it out, that's the key, the last support level. And if it pushes sharply above the green line, that's a very good action like it did over there. I think it's stalling. So it made a peak F at a 90, in the 94s, that about the 12th of June, pull back and let's just see. Um, if there is a measurement that we can use. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman here, downtown 27. SB is down three, improving. What is the IWM? Oh, it's up 37 cents. All right, nice. I'll be back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm going to show you within the rectangle formation, remember if there's a very sharp immediate pullback and then it starts to make higher highs and higher lows, it could go to a, a peak D just on, just under or just above the previous high. And then if it pulls back, you've got to watch the halfway mark of, the, of that rectangle. If that gets taken out, that's at 5530 right now. That's negative. But if it continues higher after this, that's really important. That's why I see there's a chance it's a two-click session. God, I, I had it too. I had it already, and then I just got impatient uh, from the lows. All right. Well, and here's the other thing in the Chamway methodology. If this peak D gets taken out by one tick, that'll be a quarter of a point. In other words, if, if the price goes to 55.36.50, I then move this D over. I move that C over, and I take the phantom peak i say it's no more needed i keep it as a as a red because i want to show that i had used it i like to put all the evidence there so that i can see it and i say okay now what you've got is a real d and you have to go from there and look at that nine period moving average from that crossover <clears throat> back in uh, at 8 8 30 this morning it's just been green and it's still green and it's doing well and there's your peak d just under the peak f in the one minute chart, we'll see what happens. These are the techniques in the Chapman methodology. And if it goes to uh, 55, what did I say, 35.50? Uh, just let me check. 55, uh, 36.50, that'll start a leg D in the 10 minute chart. But look at the 10 minute chart, how all the, the technicals that would have been resistance are now uh, free. And what you've got, you can go all the way to the left side, and it says that this high that was made at four o'clock, uh, January, uh, January, June the, July the first, at fifty-five, thirty-nine point fifty. Oh, I should have done this. Why didn't I do that? I did it to the bottom. Now I have to do it to the top. So here's what I would, here's what I would do at the top, right there. I'd go left side to this little doji candle high right here. And then I'd go to the right side. And this is price time match. And that says that at this particular point, there's a chance uh, that, that can go to, by 11 o'clock, by the end of my show, there's a chance that that 55, 39.50 high will be taken out. So these are the techniques. I'm doing them live, so as you can see there. And then I take the inside track repellent zone, Chapman Wave inside wedge in this particular case right here. And I say, oh, if that's the case, then here's your resistance line. How it breaks it or tests it is going to be very important. I'll just leave this here so you can see. So green, always green dashed on the way up, diagonal, and pink dashed on the way down. And if you don't have all these cards, you don't need all these cards. I just do this because uh, well, when I left high school, I went to do graphic arts. So I've always had this little bent that says the design is also very important. So in this particular instance, it's just purely design that we're looking at. Okay, let's get out of it and go back to our story. What's the story? The story is that the TLT has held support, but it hasn't broken out yet to the upside. It, to do that, it really has to test the pink nine period moving average of 92.17. It's at 90.38. That's almost two points. I don't know what's going to do it right now, uh, but that's the way I look at it. In the uh, weekly chart, the nine period moving average, the week has barely begun, uh, but it's gone S, meaning that the nine period moving average has turned negative, but we have to wait all week before that. If it shows up as an S, then it does on Friday at four o'clock. If it's disappeared, it means the L is still in place, meaning long. And the monthly chart just looks horrible. So that improves the outlook for looking at bonds going higher, but we don't know yet. I'm just saying that this chart in the monthly chart says there's a chance that we could get like a, um, a head and shoulders pattern by actually rallying towards the 39 area. And right now we're at 35.37, but that's just a guess. And there's so much work to be done right now. But in the meantime, the TBT ultra short Lehman 20 year treasury bond fund, which is basically the yields going higher, um, 
says that there's a resistance level in the weekly chart, and to pierce it, you'd have to see 36.40. All right, so there's a lot of work to be done. Now let's go one at a time. GDX, oops, GDX. GDX is the gold miners ETF. Nothing to see here, not breaking down, not breaking up. It's stuck in a little cluster formation. And the Chapman Wave inside track, repellent zone, I can actually lift this up. Remember, it's always a work in progress. And you've got to do what it, whatever it takes to be as judicious as you can. You don't want to be locked into something that is already past its due date. The due date is finished. Now there's a new uh, inside wedge resistance area, and there it is. So that's been lifted up a little bit, and it just says uh, the GDX is kind of stalling. It's not breaking down. It's not breaking up. Look at the SLV, which is the silver contract. Same thing, down channel, lower lows, lower highs. Here's the SI, silver trading at uh, up 37 cents at 29.99. So this is a little difficult for us because we have position in a silver stock. We actually split it because I, I, I didn't want to miss it, but that, there was plenty of time to get it. But we have two positions and it's held OK. It should have done better. And it was one of the best of the group in, in chart formation. Um, all I can say is that so far it's held the stops. We're still in it. But it's a little disappointing that silver has acted not bad. If you look at the weekly chart, yes, the daily is going to lower lows and lower highs. But right here is the stalling formation in time and some points. It didn't the big spike that we saw back around the 16th of June, and then it gave it up the next day and with big red candle and plunge. This is nice and steady to the upside. And that pink nine period moving average is trying to work its way to turn green. It it's going to take a move into the inside track. Uh, repellent zone in the 30s, and right now it's at 29.99. Uh, I can't say the 30s, that's just too nebulous. Let me say 30.40 area to really say that there's a difference now because the right side is starting to find higher highs. We don't know yet. Okay, next question came in. Let me go through the questions. Uh, FXI, uh, FXI is rallying a little bit, but I would consider this to be in a stalling formation, trying to go on a new bout of strength, and that's the iShares China Large Cap ETF. To go with that, I'd like to look at Tesla. Tesla, wow, I did not see that. Tesla is up 20 at 230, up almost 10% today in leg D. Wow, you remember when it broke that support? I said it's stuck in a range, but if it can close above 190, I think I said 95 or 97, or one of those. I said, that's going to be different altogether because it will be above the arch formation and the dreaded H. It becomes a cup formation and very positive. Well, we don't have it. And it's a silly thing because all the technicals were really good. Now it's a little bit overboard in leg D, but it's fantastic in terms of the amount that has moved from the 130s to 230, 100 points. Impressive, Mr. Musk, impressive. I'll be back. Dow is down six. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So thank goodness my notebook didn't get wet. So we've got uh, the uh, one minute chart went to a peak F and now it's pulling back a little bit in the E-mini. So I put in a peak E here. Now I wanted to do this. What normally I do is I take away the E and I say, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That phantom peak should not have been there. It was there as a kind of a crutch, something you developed years ago, which has really been a fantastic device. But it's only a device in whichever way that you want to get to a D. And there it is. There's your D. This bit's moved over. That becomes a C. And the red B goes over here. And I keep it red to say, you remember, you once used it. In other words, everything about the uh, Chavamay methodology is kind of open. I remember talking to Dave White, like Dave White, a fantastic technician, and we used to have long discussions. And I said to him, the whole thing about this is that you want to be correct in your last notation letter. And the reason being, you don't want to say, oh, I can't do that because it won't look right. No, you want it to look perfectly. You want to put an arrow where it, if it gets to a C and it moves to a D and you haven't got the up arrow, I like to put the up arrow in because that's the way it should be. It's a buy signal going to a buy mode which goes to at least a D. Therefore, it should be there. Even if you didn't have it earlier, it doesn't matter. You want to correct it because from here on, the whole thing about this is it's a look forward methodology using the history going up to that moment, that second, as your guide. And here you are. So this could be an alternate count, but no, I'm calling this as an F for now. And it's pulling back. The nine is still over the 40 in the one minute chart. The nine is fantastic in the uh, five minute chart. And this is a D. So this is the first time at a peak F in the daily, a leg D in the in the in the one minute chart, so I call this daily, weekly, monthly, but it's one minute, five minute, 10 minute. This is the first time that you can get a pretty serious pullback. And the question came in, two click session, meaning that you can actually have a two click session down. At this point, I don't want to think down. I'm still thinking up, saying consolidation. Why? Because I don't have anything technically negative. Even in the one minute chart, it's close, but it hasn't turned pink. Nine period moving average is still green above the 14. It's going to, I'm sure it's going to turn pink in a moment. Uh, but look how deep to get the uh, five minute chart to go pink, meaning the nine period moving average, which is green, goes under the 14. You'd have to see a, a move close to the 200 period moving average of 55.20. And here you are at 55.32. And I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm saying that's what you would expect. So I don't want to get in the way. Of, of that, you know, that thinking, I'm saying, I said to you before, this is the moment, I, if I was trading right now, I would have gone short right here on this candle and anticipated it would be wrong because I should wait for the pink. But by the time it gets to the pink, that's a lot from the 50, 55.37 level to 55.30. I'd rather be in at 55.34.
and then I can handle the stop. And now I've said to you, this is where I can get the deepest. Now I can put a down arrow. This is live. This is the Chapman Wave methodology live. And I can say to you that it is still just a peak D, not even a peak D yet. I have to wait for the full five minutes to be completed to see that that is, in fact, a, a, a peak D because we didn't go one tick above the D. So this is a work in progress. And it says, hey, even the five, the five and 10 minute charts are looking technically very good. Don't get in the way. All right, I heard a ping. A ping says I got to go to Michael in Niagara. Michael, how are you? Hello there, Basil. I'm making my annual phone call to, to your show. Wonderful. Looking forward to hearing your question. I uh, well, wish you a happy Canada Day and a 4th of July. Oh, oh, happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to you. I've got cousins uh, who live in Toronto, and they often go to Niagara. Oh, really? I, yeah. I'm originally from Toronto. I wished my life living in Toronto. Ah, it's a very pretty place, I must say. So yeah. you'd like to look how, at... How are they commuting? Are they commuting by subway or by car? Because there's so much traffic. Oh, I don't know. I haven't spoken to him for a little while, but uh, I, they they love Toronto and they got a lot of friends there. So I don't, I don't know about his commuting, but meantime, <laughs> commuting. You're, you're looking at the. You the should ultimate, be in comedy. You know that you really should be in in stand up comedy. You're, uh, you're, you're looking. You're looking at. You look at Uber. You're looking at the ultimate commuter, and that is Uber. Uber, yes. which I would I would have been using right now, probably in Madrid, which I was all booked with, uh, to go with my grandchildren, and then we, at the last minute we changed the plans. Right there, right now, Why? I'd be in Madrid. Why? And Why? Uh, right. Why? Cancel. Well, there were a couple of things going on scheduling. We got a problem with the scheduling, and I had to I had to yeah. cancel. But it, we'll we'll do it some other time. We've been to uh, Spain quite a few times, but uh, this we were going to take the grandchildren. Have you been to Granada? Speech. I I went very close. I was in Seville, but I didn't go to Granada. It was just a little extra that I didn't want to take the time. But it's supposed to be very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Spain is uh, the architecture and 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 uh, yeah, it's really it. a yeah. very, it's a, it's a it's a big place. Actually, the most beautiful is uh, the uh, Guggenheim Museum uh, in Bilbao. Which is near San Sebastian. Well, not that near San Sebastian, but Bilbao. It's just, it's a, it's the Guggenheim. Uh, it's this incredible building that was uh, what, what, titanium. They used titanium. It was just, it's a fantastic building. And then it's very close to the old city. So you got modern and you got old. Ah, it's pretty. All right, Uber. Let's go. I did Uber in the wrong you chart. I do not Bilbao want to look at. In the off season. Uh, we went off season. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it'd be like in the full season. That'd be really something. Anyway, so you wanted to look at uh, Uber, and I'm right there. There we go. Uber, U B E R. Got it. Okay. Inside wedge, Chapman wave uh, methodology, lower lows and so lower highs and much lower lows in the weekly chart. Tried to rally, went to a peak B, and then it stalled at this double top. It's down sharply today at $1.77. 69.33, one of the stocks that is on my buy list, but we haven't bought it ever. And I, I, I either miss it because it goes so quickly. What happens is very often it gaps to the upside, but then it has a habit of stalling. What well, it has since about March of this year. So you are doing what? I'm short with both hands. When did you go short? Uh, I've been uh, I've been short since around uh, OPEX triple wishing. Oh 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 okay very good okay yeah June so, the June triple wishing and uh, they've just been chopping around here and um, what I think, would you uh, reason I think Uber's got some problems. Uh, what so your so your reason is that you think they've got problems and therefore the upside's limited. Yeah, it's okay. competition problems with robo taxis coming from uh, Elon Musk. Um, yeah, there are a couple of things going on. Number one is I know a couple of times I haven't used Uber that often, but the few times that I've used it, um, 
also when you get to my age when you press the buttons and all that you're bound to make some kind of mistake but i i've often landed up paying more than a taxi for uber and wow. now i figured i'm just uh yeah I, I haven't got that down yet i do sometimes correctly when i have to use it but uh so this is on a purely technical basis i hear the music so i've got i've got it all written up when we get back if you can hold I've got this arch formation that tells you that the 68 to 66 area is really critical support. I'll be back in a moment with Michael in Niagara. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYJUNE24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I, I just, uh, just mentioned, uh, for those of you trying to get me at Basil Chapman at TFNN.com, I am getting it. Uh, I am getting my emails to the other one that I use. Uh, is uh, a little sluggish, but in the meantime, back at the ranch, we're looking at Uber. So this is the way I'm looking at Uber. So you've got the competition is Lyft. One of the competitions is Lyft. And Lyft is really struggling. I don't know, it made a peak F top in the uh, weekly. I, I just caught a, a, a moment of the CEO talking about it and saying, everything's coming right. Uh, I, maybe um, there's something in his coffee because I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't see it. it's way under the 200 moving average. So that should be giving benefit to Uber. But I think you've pinpointed something that I think a lot of people feel like me, that at this particular point, you can't rule out a taxi and taxis have become a little bit more competitive, number one, and they're there. Uh -huh. When you go to the airport, I know my daughter was at the airport recently. 
and she, it was my daughter. Yeah, I think it was my daughter. Yeah, and she had to wait an hour and a half for an Uber. I mean, and the taxis were right there, but she was waiting. So I, th I would say to you, based on the chart, I'm not now doing any any of the peripherals. I'm doing just chart work. I'm saying the nine period moving average is still strong. The fact that today it's gone underneath yesterday's Chapman Wave Roman candle, and it looks like it's going to be there for more than an hour, more than under the halfway marker of 70.36. So on the day, that's not good. On Friday of last week, the nine period, or the week before, sorry, the week before, the um, nine period moving average went positive in the weekly chart. But the MACD, if you look at it, if you're looking at my chart, you'll see the MACD is deflecting lower. The histogram's trying to, wait, is that the end of the show? Hey, I think you're correct. I would just, I would just say to you, have a trading stop on part of your position. Wherever you got in, I think that's good. But a trading stop of about two, two and a half points, and I think it should be good. So What's my, my target downside? is 60, 60, 68 to 66 is the first real support.